man, uh, it's been a lot of Ryan Day third base jokes. Um, man, this is – where do we go from here? First of all, you know, I think C.J. Stroud, you know, you know, he hit it right on the money. You know, terrific quarterback, obviously one of the best quarterbacks in Ohio State football history, and he's never beat that team up north. And, you know, from the looks of it, he's probably going to go to the NFL draft, so that's pretty much out for him getting gold pants. Where Ohio State's going to go, I don't know. I'm not a guy that likes to depend on – other teams, I feel like we controlled our own destiny all year. We had an opportunity to win. We didn't do it. You know, now we have to hope for USC to lose. We have to hope for TCU to lose. You know, doesn't seem, obviously, with the tiebreaker, that team of North doesn't matter if they lose. LSU doesn't really matter if they lose. Uh, for us, where do we go from here? One, everything's uncertain. I think for us, we're probably the only team that's not playing. Maybe Alabama that doesn't really know what's going to happen, you know, we have a chance to make the playoffs. We have a chance to make a, a really good bowl game. We don't know. But for Ryan Day, he, Ryan Hot Seat Day is the question. He's on the hot seat. You know, we I, I seen a Colorado fan. He was like, I'm a Colorado Buffaloes fan. You know, I don't I don't get it. You know, I'm just happy making a bowl game. You know, winning, winning you know, maybe six, seven games a year. I'm happy with that. It's different over here. It's different. He's like, it's really different, you know, you know seeing how OSU fans and the standards that Ohio State has is, is – I'm like, yeah, it, it does sound when – you, when you hear a Colorado fan say that, it, it does seem really wild. But, you know, the goal is to – they said it. This is Coach Day and everyone says it. Beat the team up north. Win your division. Win a Big Ten championship. Win a national championship. We clearly have not hit on – we're not doing that under Coach Day. He has to get it together. Now, again, we don't know where everything is going to stack up. Whether or not we make the playoffs, where we're ranked at, that does not matter. We can't beat that team up north. Things have to change. And he shook things up last year, got, you know, coaching, new coaching staff, and we, we, we lost again. And this was worse than last year. You know, you had a whole year, and you didn't get it done. You didn't beat Oregon. You got humiliated in the national championship game. Questionable play, play calling against Clemson in the playoff. I mean, Coach Day, you got to get it together. I think if Day would have won a national championship against Alabama, he'd have a lot more legal way. But in these big games, he's not stepping up. First game of the season on the road at Minnesota, you're not prepared to play. First home game of the year against Oregon, you're not prepared to play. You played two straight years against that team up north, you're not prepared to play. At some point, you have to be prepared to play. And if not, we're going to get a coach that's – that's going to be prepared to play. Now, Luke Fickle's off the table. I told Luke Fickle personally, he came to my high school to recruit our running back and our quarterback. And I told him to his face, you're not a good coach. So, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. So I, I'm, I'm not a guy that's going to advocate for, for Luke Fickle because that would be wrong of me to, to turn around and say I want Luke Fickle. But there's a lot of Buckeye fans that who, who want Luke Fickle. That's off the table. He's going to Wisconsin. Yes, I told Luke Fickle he's not a good coach. This was, hey, this was in the heart of we were what were we? Um, this was coming off a few years um, coming off of when Ohio State went six and seven under him, we had a, and I, I felt like we should have went eight and four that year. Personally, should have been Nebraska, not over that game. Should have been Michigan State at home, not over that game. But Luke Fickle's not the answer. Now, Coach Day's not probably not the answer either. But we have to get things together. I don't know who the answer is. People are saying Mike Variable for the Titans. I don't see him leaving the Tennessee Titans to come to Ohio State. I don't know who that answer is. But if we're gonna play that game of getting rid of Ryan Day, we have to have somebody come in and help us win the national championship. Uh, after the game, people were, you know, saying we want Urban back. I don't think the university wants him back. They pushed him out. Granted, some of the things that Urban did was his fault, and he should have handled better. I don't know, but for Ryan Day, this is going to be the hot seat. He's going to be on the hot seat for now on. It doesn't matter what the hot seat does. Now, this is going to be like Penn State. Now, they lost to Michigan. They lost to that team up north this year, and they lost to my Buckeyes this year. James Franklin was on, James Franklin was on notice. You can't lose to any other team. Ten and two is good, but if James Franklin ended up eight and four, they would have been calling for his head too. Eight and four is not going to cut it here. Ten and two is not going to cut it here. Only a, a being that team up north in a college football playoff appearance. Maybe not win. Of course, I would love to help us. To, I would love for us to win it. That's not guaranteed every year. You know, we can argue. Hey, we should have made it in fifteen. We maybe we would have won. A, we would have won it all in twenty fifteen. We didn't. We went 2016, we lost. 2019, we went, you know, we lost. It's not guaranteed you win it every year. But we have to be able to fight for a playoff appearance. Not just fight, but to win it all. And Coach Day, you have to get us back to that point. And we haven't.
And this, the wild thing is this is two years removed from him playing for a national championship. But it seems like everything, the support that Ryan Day has in Columbus is not there. And he's going to have to get these guys ready to play, whether, whether whatever bowl game it is.